Hello, everyone. My name is Tom Graham. I'm the microbiology instructor for Bio 162, and I'll introduce you to my labs. This is CB 4002, and this is a teaching microbiology lab. It's set up really nicely so we can have lots of time with the students, and you get full on time to talk to me and understand what you're doing. What you'll do here is you'll learn all about microbiology, you'll learn how to plate things, you'll learn how to stain bacteria, you'll learn how to test water samples, and even your nose and throat swabs, which is kind of nice. If we go through, we can look at some of the facilities. This is a full-fledged incubator. It's set at 37 degrees Celsius because that's the body temperature. So a lot of this is related to human infectious diseases, and so we'll do a lot of testing looking for different bugs like E. coli, salmonella, Staphylococcus and um, some Streptococcus. You go through, we see you have all our safety features that are required. We have water treatment facilities in all the labs that help to ensure that you get good cultures. We have a fume hood to protect you. Once in a while, we'll do some staining steps that are in heated environment. That's going to make it so you have to have some protection. Right here, you'll see some slides. We do some testing. So this is bacterial type smears. In this, this is a bacterial smear that shows you all the different shapes and sizes of bacteria. And you'll be using those right off the get-go, the very first lab you would do that. You go through here, we actually have, this is a gel documentation system. We use this for looking at DNA. If we're doing DNA isolation, we can actually put that on an agarose gel, and then we view it on this and put it in the computer. This is actually our full walk-through incubator, or fridge. This keeps all our material cold. We only use this for dirty material. We have another area where we keep the clean stuff. Well, you can see if you look through here, it's, everything's connected. This is where we per prepare our media, and the media will get passed through here and out into here. This is the biotechnology section. So you can see we have all the equipment that we need. We have a lyophilizer. We have some microcentrifuges. This is, we got several gradient PCRs. This is one, what it does is allows us to test up to 96 samples on a PCR. And so if you get a chance and an opportunity to use this, we can amplify certain segments of DNA, which will allow you to detect different pathogens like E. coli, salmonella, and stuff like that using a PCR. We again have biohazard hoods and water treatment facilities to make sure everything's going. This is our prep lab. So what we do is we do a lot of our research prep in here. So we do work on algae, we'll do work on crypto giardia, cryptosporidium giardia, and we'll do also some extra work on water sampling. So we'll bring in some water samples and do some testing. This is our prep section. So what we do is get set up in here. This has all our media prep. We have two large-scale autoclaves. We got a tabletop autoclave. What we have here is a biohazard hood. What we're doing is we're growing algae. We use that algae to help sequester CO2. We help to produce certain products like oils or biomass that we can actually utilize in other things. So what I hope is not in the too, too distant future, you guys will come here and actually take a class in microbiology or a class in biotechnology. Thanks.